dear students assalamu alaikum i hope you will be fine my name is engineer vimu chacha i am lecturer in department of technology sarad university of science and information technology peshawar as i am teaching you the subject design of hydraulic structures today is your lecture number 25 in lecture number 25 we will study about fumes or measuring fumes so uh, meter or metering fluid is a structure constructed in a canal for measuring its discharge accurately so the metering fluids or fumes are used in order to measure the discharge across the canal a metering fluid is an artificially fluid um fluid me narrowed section of the channel which can be utilized for calculating the discharge in the channel The normal upstream section of a channel is narrowed by masonry walls with a supply of one ratio one to two ratio one to a rectangular section called throat. From where the channel is slowly diverged as to obtain the normal section by means of masonry wings with a supply of two ratio one to ten ratio one. more gradual the convergence and divergence less will be the loss of head in the fluids there are some types of fluids uh, there are two types of measuring fluids which are generally used and work on the principle of punctuary meter and uh, these types of measuring fluids are uh, number 8 non modular venturi fluid or round venturi fluid generally called venturi fluid and the b1 is the standing wave flume or modular venturi flume or free free flow venturi flume so these are the two types of venturi flume or measuring fluids or simply fluids which are used in order to measure the discharge across the channel the first one is the venturi flume a venturi flume consists of a gradually contracting channel leading to throat and a gradually expanding channel leading away from it stills stilling wells are provided for measuring head at the entrance and at the throat as shown in figure 13.11 this is the figure 13.11 these are the stilling wells which are provided at the start and at the throat in order to calculate the uh, head at, at these points if h is the difference of head between the two wells then the discharge is given by q is equal to cd A one A two divided by under the root A one square minus A two square under the root two G H. Here C D is the uh, coefficient of discharge uh, for venturi flume, and its value varies from zero point nine five to one, whereas A one is the area of at entrance, and that is equal to B one into A by one. This is the uh, area A one. This is the width B one. And this is the height y1. So, by multiplying by these two, we will get the area a1. And a2 is the area at the throat, that is b2 into y2. So, if you multiply b2, this is the width of the throat by yc or y2, we will get the area of the throat. So, by knowing all these factors, put by and by putting this in this equation, we will get the total discharge across the Channel. The water flows through this channel, coming here, and then it comes diverges to the uh, throat, comes to the throat, and after uh, this throat, it again diverges into the main channel. So here, in this stilling wells. The head is measured, and also in this stilling well, the head is measured, and the difference of these two heads is uh, is here uh, will give you the value of h. And by putting these values here in equation, this equation, you will get the total discharge across the venturi flume or channel. Next type is the standing wave flume. Uh, when a stand, when a standing wave that is hydraulic jump forms on the downstream places. Is the diver in the diverging channel? The flume is called as standing wave flume, as shown in Figure 13.12. So, this is the uh, diagram of the standing wave flume. 
here the hydraulic jump is created as the high velocity water moves into the lower velocity zone so as a result a hydraulic jump is created on the downstream side of the glacier on the glaciers downstream glaciers it is superior to venturi flume because its discharge depend only upon the upstream head over the crust of the throat and also for the same upstream head its discharging capacity is more than that of a venturi flume also the length of the throat is at least 2 to 3 times the head over the crust and the discharge formula for such a flume is given by q is equal to 1.7 cd b h 3 by 2 here B is the width of the throat, this is the width of the throat B and C D is the coefficient of discharge for the standing wave flume and its value is varies from 0 0.595 to 1 and H is the uh, head, head over the crust, this is the value of h so by taking the value of h from here and b from here and putting the value of cd you will get the discharge across the channel with by the help of standing wave flume and this is the end of our today's lecture